Hello guys, welcome to Tutorials Point. In this video, we are going to learn about status bar in Microsoft Project 2013. So where I can find this status bar? This status bar can be easily seen at the bottom screen of our project window. Now what does this status bar do? We can have different options and we can have a different views in status bar. We will try to understand more of it in our practical approach. In this video, we are going to talk about the status bar. So what is a status bar? If you go right below, you can see there is a status bar. Now what are the different options I have with the status bar? Let's try to understand. If I right click on the status bar, I see there are various other options. I have cell mode, calculation, filter, I have new task, view shortcuts. Now let's try to understand with some of the basic and important elements in this status bar. The very first one is the cell mode. So it's it's been checked right now. So if I want to remove it, I will again click on it and uncheck it. So if you see what has happened, if you see there was a ready status bar out here which is gone away. Let me show it again. I click on this cell mode it says ready now if I move this it shows it it goes away basically okay so this is the function of it similarly I can see there is a new task which is saying manually schedule if I click on it there is a status which says new task manually schedule if I click on it it also goes away so this is the function of the status bar it helps me to show some of the most important elements whether whether it's ready, whether it's manual schedule, whether it's auto schedule and other things. Now moving on to with something called as view shortcuts. Now before I go to view shortcuts, let's try to understand what are the different shortcuts available with us. So I will go here and I will click on the shortcuts which I have. The very first one says the Gantt chart which I can see right in front of my screen. This is a Gantt chart view. Now if I move to the next one, task usage see what happens the moment I click on task usage the appearance of my screen will change right the layout of that my particular screen goes uh, changes a bit now there was a Gantt chart out here which I cannot see because it says task usage now the next thing is my team planner again the layout of my screen is changed now it is showing me the team planner window okay and the next one is known as resource sheet let's see what happens if I click on resource sheet another layout is being displayed on in front of my screen saying as resource sheet alright so I'll get to the basic one that is my Gantt chart view I'll click on Gantt chart view and it gives me by default setting so if I right click on the status bar and if I click on view shortcuts this shortcut goes away but I would suggest you you always keep this as these are some of the important tools which I'll be using at the time of project management okay and moving on with the next one is the zoom slider so what is a zoom slider if you see next to all my shortcuts there is a zoom bar which is always there in every Microsoft product okay I can see it on the bottom right side of corner of the screen so what this is used for this is used for to zoom in the Gantt chart so if I click here you see the zooming for my Gantt chart increases and if I click on zoom out it reduces the size of the Gantt chart so I will select the way I want it by default it's like it was like this so I'm selecting this so what does this do it the zoom slider if I right click and click on zoom slider it goes away and if I click on it it comes back into picture alright so guys this was all about the status bar in Microsoft project 2013